guys welcome back to the channel in this episode we are going to get into one of my many diys right here behind us we have a travel wall <laughs> Okay, so right here behind me is a false wall. As opposed to if I actually hit the wall, it doesn't make a sound. So <laughs> this was actually a door and a door space. So we needed to block up that space because the door was no longer functional. And we used a concrete board to do that. And we were like, okay, so what are we going to hide that? Because the texture is a bit different from the regular wall too. So it was like, what are we going to hide this in perfection with? So... Being the travel enthusiast that we are, we decided on a travel wall. So that is what brought this idea here. And then the rear two nets, I thought, well, we know it needed to be something that when we got out of bed in the morning, something we didn't mind looking at because it's right outside the door. So it had to be something we didn't mind seeing all the time and that kind of stuff when we were thinking about what item we should put in this space. And like I said, we love to travel. A lot of fond memories, traveling and stuff like that. I think we're probably even the closest when we travel. The closest. We talk about them hungry. Me and your mom. Really, when you're shopping, you don't think about food. You don't take food. You don't take drink. You just be thinking, let me find the next best thing. Where is the next deal? What time does this store close? What food you want? Really? So, that was definitely the decision or the reason for going with a travel walk. Plus, there are the words, wear two nets, catch them to the top of the wall. So, that kind of just gets me thinking on morning. So, whether it's a country, whether it's after I go through the door here locally, just wear two nets. What are we working on next? What are we doing next? Just thought provoking. After we decided that a travel wall was what we wanted to do, I took to Pinterest, Google, my favorite DIY buddies <laughs> all time, and just like to see what um what was there what people before me would have done and stuff like that but i encountered one problem all the time there were some really fantastic things on there but almost everybody's travel wall spread landscape now i have a doorway that i wanted to do so i needed a portrait style and no matter where i looked I could find nothing unless it was like a little sign and then apart from that the ones that we found they didn't have any continuity when I say that I mean I had to buy them with the particular countries that I'm thinking of in them at the same time so if I had anything that we went to impromptu or last minute or that wasn't planned there was no way to add on anything that we just wanted to add on so apart from the fact that they were mostly landscape type um travel walls a lot of them were scratch maps too and then the most offensive thing to me was that there were hardly ever caribbean any caribbean countries on those so you would get mainly the continents and stuff like that those main um, countries but nothing of the caribbean how how a caribbean girl gonna buy gonna go and buy a map like that so that absolutely could not work so this scratch idea came from there and that's how i then but it's about basically designing the wall, if you, if you want to say designing. We had the idea to do the wall, so it was time to acquire the materials. We used foam board, we used Bristol board, we used shipping labels, ink of course, because it's picture based. We used laminate, we used paper. I had to get a pair of scissors, lots and lots of glue sticks. And I think that's about it. Oh, paint and paint to scratch, because it's a scratch map. Oh, a scrap travel wall. Having the materials, the process was started. So Jason and I, we went through all the countries. We decided and narrowed down, narrow them down to about 75, I think it was, that we would absolutely love to go to. So that meant that we needed to use about four foam boards and four Bristol boards. What we did, instead of using just the country's flag and stuff, I searched the internet for picturesque sceneries of different places in those countries so it may have been the main city it may have just been a skyline whatever i thought was really pretty i printed those off laminated them cut them up and 
tip them onto the foam board. So that or what I would call the base board. That's the board that's actually mounted to the wall. So that those were stuck laminated and stuck on the back of there. After I positioned them on the back board, then it was time to cut out the window that we would scratch on the front board. Now, this was a very tedious process. I got it so wrong at first. Sometimes I could see the space between the picture and the backboard and that, that annoyed me a lot. As time went on, I got a little better at it, but trying to measure out those windows perfectly was a bit of a tedious task. So if you think that you know a better way that I could have gone about it, please let me know in the comments because whew, that, that was difficult. And having to do it 70 something times, that was pretty, pretty difficult. Okay, so once I had all those windows cut out, I, before I could stick the front board onto the back board, we had to create the scratch feature. So just using water paint because it scratches off of the plastic laminate very easily. I just put one coat across the pictures and let it dry. After they were dry, then I stuck on the front, the front. The face, the windows, the little windows, I, front, I stuck on the face onto the backboard. I arranged them in alphabetical order. <laughs> Nothing to say, you have to do that. It was just our preference. And we left some space on the last board so that we could stick pictures on the outside. It wouldn't be in a window, but on the outside of it, in case we added on any countries that we ended up going to that we didn't necessarily plan for. So to actually mount it on the wall now we use the extra strength extra hold gorilla glue to set it tape so we just put it on the back of the foam board and put it onto the wall just to add a little flare to show what it really is because looking at it it might just look like a bland wall with a couple labels oh i missed that part as well we had to put the labels under the windows so that we know which country was under the paint all right so if you look here, you see New Zealand and that window there would have a, a, when I scratch it, a scenery of New Zealand. And just to add a little flair, I printed out some travel theme stuff. So a world map, a cruise ship, a cruise ship boarding passes, airplane passport, luggage, camera, whatever, laminated those and just stuck those on the side to look really pretty. And then I brought a, a plane trail from the bottom, taking it all the way up to the top. Up to my thought-provoking question where to next I'll give you guys a closer view of the wall you can let me know what you think about it in the comments put a like if you like it I think I did a pretty good job and achieved what I wanted and maybe because I did it for myself <laughs> that's probably why I like it so much like, it kept me busy during the lockdown period here in Barbados so I had something to do. I had something to get on mornings and look forward to trying with. So that was really, really good. The overall cost of this project, I would say it's about $80 if you have access to ink and paper because it did take quite a bit of ink to print the pictures. But like I said, if you were thinking about doing something similar, it doesn't have to be a scratch off feature. One, it doesn't have to be pictures. It could be a flag. It could just be the country's name, anything that can cut costs and I would have also had paint from doing the many renovations around the house so that also made it easier but just roughly around it could at least $80 it could be more we worked on it so how do we use it the idea of the mat is to scratch the places where we've already been so after we get back from a trip we would scratch if you look at the map, you can see that some places are dug out, but not completely scratched out because we didn't finish them. That was supposed to help us to mark what to do. If you have a close look, you can see Dominica is marked off, England is marked off, Italy is marked off, and Puerto Rico is marked off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you absolutely enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Continue to enjoy the day.